Hello, this is Ferdinand the Cardboard Stacker and welcome to How to Play Arachnoir, a roll and draw puzzle strategy game of web weaving in Vesta Spiders by Daniel Lee and Daryl Chow and published by Origame and Muminu. A game of Arachnoir plays from 1 to 6 players for ages 8 and up in about 30 to 45 minutes. You are watching a rulebook video, your guide to the rules of the game. This video is divided into chapters. Scroll along the scrubber bar and jump right to the section you like to learn. You can also find the list of chapters below. If you have a question or something nice to say, put it in the comment section. It would be a wonderful and tremendous help if you can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Let's go ahead and set up our game. Place the movement sheet in the center of the table and the three dice, one black and two white. Next, give each player a map, spider tokens, and a marker. Decide for all players to play on which map, the rookie side or the veteran side. Have the starting lead player be the person who last saw a spider or decide randomly. The lead player now rolls a dice and places their spider on the numbered position of their map corresponding to the number rolled. Each player in clockwise order will place their spiders on the next successive number. One will go after six in this case. Then shuffle the case cards and draw three face up. Place them near the first reward section of the movement sheet. Setup is done, but if this is your first time playing or learning Arachnoir, you may run Training Mode. For this mode, use the rookie side of the map board and ignore the following rules. The Evidence Icons, Extra Move Section, the Bug Tally Set to 9 to end the game, and return the case cards back to the box. Your Objective Win the game by getting the most points. Two ways to get points are Bug Tally for capturing bugs in a web and Bounty Tally by completing case cards and connecting evidence. The game and triggers once a player has 15 captured bugs. Before each round, all players draw a new fly on their maps. The lead player calls out an empty triangle space around their spider. Something like I2 and all players draw a fly there. Players can get points if they're able to draw a web around to capture the fly. If another player has their space that is already webbed, they get the point immediately. If the lead player cannot draw the fly, the player does not draw one. The lead player now rolls all three dice and place it according to the movement sheet. After all the dice are set, all players now select any two of the three dice and draw on their map of the depicted maneuver. This is done simultaneously with all players and different dice must be used. One at a time, starting from the spider, each maneuver must be done in full or the movement is not legal. Any maneuver can be rotated or flipped from either end and you may go through existing lines. If you make an enclosure of 2 to 6 triangles, you've made a web. Shade in your web and capture any bugs in it. If a 1 enclosure was made, it doesn't form a web and remains useless. If 7 or more triangles are used, it doesn't form a web but can be later formed when a line is drawn. By catching bugs, you'll not only earn points, but some perks. Gain extra moves and modify them. Each time a bug is captured, keep track of it in the bug tally track. As mentioned, flies will spawn throughout the map in the game. Making a web around them will capture them, giving you a point to your bug tally. On another player's turn, if a fly spawns on your already made web, you capture it immediately and gain the point. 
the insects in the white triangles, the mosquito, ladybug, hornet, and moth are captured in a similar way. There is a number that appear on their triangle. This is the number of triangles in your web needs to be if you want to capture them. The number must be exact or it won't be captured. When capturing a ladybug or mosquito, you can gain an extra move for your black die. And capturing a moth or a hornet, you gain an extra move for the white die. Circle the number when you capture the insect and cross it out when you use it. Players may use the same die as already used in the same round. To capture the cricket, you must capture it by making a web around it and also having a web around the landing space pointed by the arrow. Once the cricket is webbed, the landing space must also be webbed by the end of the turn or the cricket escapes. When a cricket is captured, it is worth 2 points on the bug tally and it gives the Modify Move ability. This ability when used can modify any dice by 1. Dice wraps from 6 to 1 and 1 to 6. This ability is only applied to you and doesn't physically change the die. To capture the ant, the spider must land on it at the end of the maneuver. Otherwise, it escapes and cannot be captured again. To capture the termite, the spider must use a maneuver to pass through them in the same direction of the arrow. If the spider moves in the wrong direction, the termite escapes and cannot be caught again. Bonus points can be gained in two ways. The first is connecting a line from matching evidence on the board. Achieving this will earn the player two points. The other way is completing case cards. There are three case cards in the game. All the case cards are available for all players to gain bonus points from, and they start on the first reward tier of the movement sheet. As players score the case cards, these will move down one tier each time. Case cards score at any point of the round when a player completes the requirement. The first tier awards one black die extra move and two bonus points. The next is just two bonus points, then one white die extra move and one white point, and finally one bonus point. When multiple players complete the same case card on the same round, all players still receive the same award tier. When a reward has been received, tilt the card. Before a new round starts, any tilted cards are moved down to a lower tier and return upright. Just a few other notes on case cards. Case cards only move down at the beginning of a new round. Multiple players can score at the same tier later in the same round. Once a case card reaches to the end of the final tier, it doesn't go below any further. Case cards can be scored by the same player multiple times in different rounds. The round ends when all players have completed all their movement, including any extra movement. The new lead player will be the next player in clockwise order. Here are the steps to remind you what to do in the beginning of each new round. Check solve case cards. Change tiers as necessary. Lead player places a new fly and roll all three dice again. The game end triggers when at least one player has 15 bugs caught in their bug tally. They must announce when they do. The game concludes at the end of the final round and all scores are added up. One point is given for each mark on the bug tally and bounty tally. For each extra moves and modify moves that are gained and not used, score 0.5 each. The player with the most points is the winner and becomes promoted to the rank of Chief Investor Spider. If there is a tie, the player with the most points in the bounty tally will become the winner. Then the player with the largest webbed area wins. Then if there's still a tie, the tie players are joined winners. 
This concludes the how to play video to Arak Noir. If you'd like to know more about this game and others, please visit origame.co. The Carbert Stacker likes to thank the publisher of the game for sponsoring this video. And I like to thank you for watching. For more videos like these, including how to play and playthroughs, come visit The Cardboard Stacker on YouTube and at our website, www.thecardboardstacker.com. Thanks again, and as always, I'm here to remind you to keep on stacking games.